Good afternoon. I'm very proud to be here with the House Democratic leadership. The unity of our House Democratic members was a very important message to the country uh, that we are very proud of the Affordable Care Act. Yesterday, as you know, was the seven-year anniversary of the President signing the bill, and the American people expressed their support for it. That message became very clear uh, to our colleagues uh, on the Republican side of the aisle. Today is a great day for our country. It's a victory. What happened on the floor is a victory for the American people, for our seniors, for people with disabilities, for our children, for our veterans. The, uh, also, it's not just about the 24 million people who now won't have be off of uh, uh, health insurance. It's about the 155 million people who receive their health benefits uh, in the workplace who will not be assaulted by some of the provisions that the Republicans put in the bill, especially last night when they removed the essential benefits uh, package. Uh, so again, this is pretty, it's pretty exciting for us. Yesterday, our anniversary, today a victory for the Affordable Care Act, more importantly, for the American people. Tomorrow is the 50, 51st anniversary of, President, of uh, Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. saying in a speech that Mr. Cl Mr. Clyburn uh, quotes often to us, that of all of the forms of inequality, the inequality in health care is probably the most inhumane and can sometimes lead to death. Uh, that was the spirit in which we came into this uh, debate, uh, honoring the vows of our founders of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, a healthy life, the liberty to pursue our happiness. So it's about our country it's a, and, our, and the vision of our founders. It's about our faith, and it's about uh, the unity of the Democrats united by our values.